Yo, what it do, man? It was just be you. Now as I do this, we done took it over. You feel me? At the Takeover Studio. My name is Michael Prince Jr. And um, I'm affiliated, associated, and, and bred with Rap A Lot Records. The movement and the activity of the song is like, I do this. You know, I do this, and if you hear it, you're going to feel it. You know what I'm saying? Man, you just put yourself in a state of whatever it is you do. Be glad of what you do. Be proud of what you do, no matter what your work area is, what your feel is. When you see the video, you will understand the vision. You know, because I dealt with people from all levels. From the Hi, I'm Ashley Johnson with Just Be You Magazine, and we're here live with Mr. Mike Prince. And we're here at his studio, and it looks wonderful. How you doing today, Mr. Mike? Fine, thank you. So um, we went to your single release party last week at Club Epic. It was off the chain. Yeah, so um, how did you like that turnout? How would you feel that end by the end of the night? Well, you know, if it's one or 20,000, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to rock the same. So I, I feel good just to be in a position to do it, you know? I know that's right. I know that's right. So um, what made you go ahead and switch over from the sports entertainment to the music? I know you've always been up in the music, so um, I know the Prince family very well, and... Just, but basically, I'm going to call this an add-on to the empire, basically. Right. Well, it's not no switching, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't do no switching. Right. You know, I just, you know, the first five things, you know what I'm saying? So it's just going into a, another venture, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like you say, adding on. Mm -hmm. It's something I've been doing, but, you know, I just never, you know, took the front seat of it. You know, I was like more behind the scenes, you know what I'm saying, for the management and marketing side of the business, but for us um being an artist is definitely something different. Mm -hmm. You know, it's definitely something different. But my whole purpose is to not only, you know, find success in it, but be able to uh, open up the doors for someone else to follow. I know that's right, and that's good because there's not many people like that will give opportunity to these new artists out here. So what is the secret to success in this industry? Constant, constant grind, you know what I'm saying, consistency. No matter what it is you do, whether it's in this industry or any industry, it's consistency, you know. You don't want to, um, like you say, uh, switch up or, right. you know, you got to be consistent right. with whatever it is you do. Right, and that's and that's what I meant. Not switching up, but it's an add-on, basically. An add-on to the empire that you already been building from ground up. And you do it so well because I had a good time last night. And I really love your new single, I Do This. And um, what made you think of that title? Like, why did you come up with that song? Well, I Do This is a brand that... Um, I created and I want to create something that everyone can make personal to themselves no matter what it is you do you know um, from the streets to the suites is what I like to say because not discriminating on no one but everyone has something that they do or enjoy doing or you know just individualizing the yes. situation you know so I want to say I do this yes. so one can represent themselves yes. you know so yes cause, yes because I was listening to that so I didn't put it on repeat all oh week long because right. that's all I can do is I can do this and that's what the young people and many artists out there need to understand that you can do this and not just only just your own material don't try to be like everyone else because we know that you're not like anybody else right. that's why it's just be you magazine just be you <laughs> but yeah most definitely that was something that I wasn't even really focusing on because I heard someone say before you know too many people are allowing themselves to be put in a box right you know, and categorize as one way or another. You know, I'm from the fourth largest city in America, which is Houston, you know, which I'm going to represent no matter where I go in the world, yeah, you know. Right. So it's like when people look at us and they like, oh, they're from the South or this and that and another. You know, I'm proud of that. But when they try to identify our sound, then I'm like, you know, I'm from a city. How you going to say that we only have one sound? Because right. for, for me to accept, you know, people saying that we have one sound or one way, that mean I didn't accept you categorizing me for one. I didn't accept that you put me in a box for two, mm -hmm. you know. So that means you didn't limit me. Mm -hmm. So you know my limits, you know what I'm saying? So like I say, no matter what it is you do, you know, do you, man. You know what I'm saying? Just do it to the best of your ability. Exactly, exactly, and that was well said because that's what's going on pretty much now in this industry. Everybody want to be like everybody. So, um... 
what exactly motivated you? Like, as far as what motivates you every day to do what you do, to keep striving? Just being able to breathe and just knowing that you've been blessed. You know, because no matter what it is I do, I'm going to keep God first. You know, and really, I think not just passing judgment, but then just trying to build a different path, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, from the generations in between, you know what I'm saying, I mean, and even with myself, you know, because a lot of people have lost touch with what's really going on, right. you know, and it's like, I don't like the big me's, little you type scenarios, you know what I'm saying, I mean, a lot of people look at me, and that's why I say, you know, I could be doing anything else in the world, you know what I'm saying, I mean, but, you know, I love my team, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, you know, and, and, my team had their own personalities, you know what I'm saying, all along, you know, and, and that's very dear to me, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you know, and that's personal with me, right. but, you know, um, and that's why that, then that's why I had to get this interview because I like we we are just be you magazine, right. so that's all that we love is just a person to be they self and stay they self no matter what this industry try to take you in any any job period. Um, so how how long have you been doing this? What part of this? Any part. Well, we know you just we know you just started this add on. So what about yeah, you? Well, no, I've been I've been rapping it's just you well, know a personality, but. Yeah, but for us, um, business, uh, music, uh, just in general, you know, um, I was born in, not sworn in, so, you know, it's like my family, we've been, you know, yes, on some level or another when it comes to mm -hmm. business, you know what I'm saying, not just music, but then, you know, we breathe this, you know, because, oh, you know, yes. the Prince, oh, the Prince, the Prince family. family, yeah, you, just, you know, we have so many varieties, and a lot of people just know about the music or the boxing, but mm -hmm. it's much deeper than that, you know. It is. But um, there's one thing f for sure is that um, we're definitely God-fearing and um, we keep him first, you know, with things that's agreed upon or not agreed upon. And y'all do do a lot for the community, too. I do know that. And y'all do support a lot of upcoming artists that are just, you know, taking y'all path. Well, you know, you know by, this, by this being um, just me, you know, I like to, you know, um, continue you know, the legacy, you know what I'm saying, me and, and, and lay the bricks, you know, in many other directions, mm -hmm. you know, because, you know, I'm a man that's not afraid to cut my own trail, right. you know what I'm saying, and that's why, you know, I'm very particular with those who I associate myself with and open myself up with, you know, as, um, if you notice, my team has majority ladies, yes. you know, because, um, it's not just because I love ladies, because I do, but it's it's more so I wanted to acknowledge and empower, you know, yeah, women, do it too. Yes. you know what I'm saying, in a male-dominant situation. You know, it's so many times that people see dozens and dozens of men in this industry on the stage or this and that and another. I'm like, well, you know what? what I want to, no, I know where they at. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's where I want to position them, though. I want yeah. to give them a different position. You know what I'm saying? Me, instead of looking in, look out. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to open the door. And who's going to tell me, man, you can't have them? No. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it's all about positioning. You know because what I'm saying? You do this. And I'm going to continue to do it. You're right. <laughs> Yeah. That's right, and I love that because that's all I'm about, empowering women. And Just Be You magazine, Forbidden Sweets, we're all about the women empowerment. That's what I love to hear from a nice black man right. oh i love to hear that you actually care and think about the women right. and that's awesome because you barely find that these days but we ain't gonna say nothing about that <laughs> okay so um when is your next event you know so the people can get ready for you know whatever you're gonna do rather you do a show rather you just show up and just yeah. turn out like we did an epic well we're working we're definitely working and before you can release this here i'll be back at it you know what i'm saying me so you know they wouldn't even get to catch the next event you understand me? Because this doesn't go down in a day or so. But, you know, we constantly grinding. You know, they can continue to follow me, you know, and just follow the whole situation, you know what I'm saying? Because um, we definitely grinding, and um, I'm very serious about this endure, you know what I'm saying? Me? So, you know. And we want to be with you every step of the way of this journey. Trust and believe it. We could have got to you sooner, we would have. Right. Um, so, what can you name your top five rappers, your top five favorite rappers? Oh, it's easy. Mike Prince, time five. 
And it's like that. Yeah, I, I asked how I admire I many, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, and they legacies, you know, is well respected. But right now, you know, I'm August. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, not being, you know, you know, self centered or anything, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to remain humble. Yes. But right now, you know, it's Mighty Prince Time 5. I know that's right. Are there any upcoming artists that you kind of looking at or well, kind of try to get with you? Know, you? I, have, I have an artist um, named uh, Drew Castillo. You know, we call him Freaky Fresh, you know, which is up under my label, Freak of Light Entertainment. And, um, you know, he's Hispanic, you know, and, and, and many people don't know how to embrace that even in our dominant situation, you know what I'm saying? But he definitely, you know, we've been cooking some gumbo for a minute, you know, so, you know, sooner or later, I'm going to let the world taste it. I know, that's so, right. You know, it's definitely going to be a surprise oh, to him, yeah. you know, so. Uh, and we're going to have a little cornbread to go with it, huh? Well, you know, only I need, I, I take some crackers with mine, you understand me, you know, with that good gumbo. <laughs> if the roux is made from homemade, now, I don't want no powder. Oh, no, no we I'm can't sorry, do the powder, you know, exactly. it has to be you know, homemade. It's got to be from the ruler to the ruler, you understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard it first. Y'all heard it first here <laughs> with, and from Mr. Mike Prince. This is a Just Be You live magazine exclusive. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> 